have been trouble reading the Bible, today I'll be sharing 10 tips of how to understand, meditate, and memorize on the Word of God. Stay tuned! creations of God. This is who made me. This is where I'm from and this is who I am. Welcome to my YouTube channel when I make it a mission to encourage the body of Christ. I have some Bible reading tips for you so let's get started. All right so first you want to get a very comfortable place. Um, personally I like to be in my room right in the morning or I like to have my desk very nice and clean so the basic idea here is for you to have somewhere that's quiet somewhere that's chill somewhere that you can focus and be ready to hear the word of god second is to actually read your devotionals read them right in the morning i find it's the best practice to read them right in the morning it's actually the second thing i do right um when i wake up in the morning i thank the lord and then i go on my phone and read my devotionals which is very helpful Third is to actually pick the way you want to read the Bible. So um, here's like three ways I've noticed that people read them so they can read it chronologically. So from the beginning all the way to end. Um, there's also that they'll specifically target specific chapters on specific topics. Basically like what, what does the Bible say about trust? What does the Bible say about worry and etc. Some people do half and half which half from the New Testament, uh, from the Old Testament, and then the other half from the Old Testament. Um, now, for me, um, I chose to read the New Testament as right now, like I'm reading the New Testament. I actually just finished James today, and I'll be going on the next chapter, which is very exciting. Um, so yeah, like right now I'm reading from the New Testament. Um, I make sure that I pray before because that's one big thing, like to pray before you get um, to read, before you get into the Word or before you start reading the Bible because it's very important that you ask the Lord to open your mind, your neural pathways so that you can actually understand um, what the Bible is saying. Number four, you have to get your materials. So, Basically, here's a couple things that you might need. Highlighter to highlight the important verses, a pen to write your notes, maybe a piece of paper, or if you have space. I know some Bibles, they have space in the um, Bible to actually write some notes. So there's that too. You can add, um, you can have like paper clips so you can add them in the like in the pages of the Bible. Uh, sticky notes so you can point out the theme of the chapter or the theme of like uh, the verse or what is God telling you throughout these chapters and I basically think that's it also we'll get to number five before I get to number five though I almost forgot that you need not you need but it's very recommended to get a prayer journal so you can summarize the chapter that you are reading or summarize the verse that you're reading um, so that it's clear to you to help you continually meditate and memorize and understand the Bible. Number five, we have Bible commentaries. Now, this is the key to understand, meditate, memorize specific chapters or specific verses in the Bible because Bible commentaries literally, they literally and literally and literally make you understand a little bit more they give you historical context and what the verse is actually saying versus what it's not saying and for me it's been a game changer my sister actually had um recommended it to me and it's amazing i'm currently reading from enduring word by david guzix i don't know if that's how i pronounce his name but it's very 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 helpful like i cannot emphasize this enough bible commentaries or the best tip right now like that's the not like the key like read your bible commentaries it's amazing you literally get so many revelations and I'm like wow like this is what it was saying like i thought it was saying something that or something else but this is what the lord wants me to understand out of it and it's so important for us to um actually get like revelations and understand 
so you don't take like any verse out of context like most people are doing these days you know number six is summarize what you read i do it in two steps first i'll post um certain like um notes on the bible app and secondly i'll take every single note that i wrote um on that piece of paper and put it in my prayer journal so that way it really like re-emphasize okay this is what we're gonna meditate on today this is what we're going to have to focus on and it's been really helpful like I still in my head like because by you know by writing you can memorize more and so in my head I still have the verses coming up to me I'd be like okay this is James 5 uh, we're talking about J what does James 5 um 15 says it says this so then it literally helps me to memorize and understand and most of all meditate throughout the whole entire day um of specific chapters right number seven is praying so you pray in the beginning you also pray at the end so you can have it together um so it's honestly like i know it's obvious but trust me it will help you it will help you throughout the day so you can think about the verse you can think about how god is so good to us He's so good to us. Anyway, so you can really think about these things and it can help you re-evaluate um, the uh, the chapter or the verse that you're thinking of of the day. And it will definitely, 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 definitely get you to meditate on them. I promise. And number eight is to actually pick what verse you're going to memorize or what verse, <clears throat> excuse me, you're going to meditate on. Um, I'll usually like, sometimes I'm like, oh, this is good. Like God definitely is pulling me through this one and I have to definitely um, spend time on this one. Or sometimes I'll just go through the chapter and be like, okay, um, what am I not doing right now? It, if this chapter or if this verse is talking about praying for each other am i praying for one another am i um edifying the church am i encouraging people so these things they definitely help and when you pick the verse now you know that you're gonna meditate on it number nine is to choose a reminder method so um you can sh rather like Put it on your like a reminder app on your phone or you can i have like a little like word map in my room that i put the verse of the day that i'm meditating on so every two, every single time i'm around my room I'm like okay this is what we're thinking about what does it say it says this okay perfect let's think about this again um you can you know help, ask a friend to help you accountable okay today i'm meditating on this specific verse let's talk about it have a conversation about it it will definitely help me number 10 that's right we are finally done um talking about the conversations it's so important i think it's been a big like game changer also when you have conversations about the verse it gets into your head a lot faster and it stays in your head because you, you're talking about it more and you're having conversations you're understanding more and more and more and more profoundly and so that's really very needed. Get you some like nice, like um, really Christ-centered friends that will definitely help you. Not the ones that they only read a verse a day, the ones that like are centered in Christ that really want you to further your relationship with the Lord. That's it guys, those are the 10 ways or 10 tips of how to improve your Bible reading journey. So let's summarize, recap what we've had said so far. So number first, number first, number one, I meant to say, is to get a comfortable space. Number two is to actually start reading those devotionals. Number three is to pick the way that you want to read your Bible. Number four, get your materials number five read some bible commentaries number six is to summarize what you read number seven is to actually actually and actually and actually pray about it um you definitely want the word of god to be dwelled into your brain and cells and stuff so number eight is to actually memorize and meditate on a specific verse. Number nine is to choose a way that you're gonna remind yourself on those verses. And number 10 is to pray constantly, pray without ceasing, and to talk about that, have conversation, talk about it with a friend that you trust or anybody, honestly, of the verse that you, oh, excuse me, that you've been reading so far. So that is it. That's all I have for you guys. Before 
I go, I definitely want to pray for you guys. So Heavenly Father, I thank you for this wonderful day. I thank you for this um, wonderful friend that's in the other screen. I ask you, Father God, to help them. Help them with um, the Word of God. Help them to re understand and Father God, give them new revelations. Open up their minds to truly understand what you're saying throughout the uh, Word, Father God, because you know that we know that without the Word, we can definitely, definitely not go about our day. So help us to dwell, dwell, Father God, in your Word, dwell in your presence. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I'll see you guys later. Mwah!